G'day everyone, May the 6th and Bitcoin dumped overnight. We'll take a measurement here and see what we got. In this one move, we got around about, we go to the bottom here to a 10% dump. Bitcoin dumping 10% in a matter of hours, breaking straight through the support here, here and here. No problems at all, breaking through those supports. So this volume candle that accompanied the breakdown was a really strong volume candle. So a lot of volume to the downside. At the moment, Bitcoin is moving sideways and still in a downward direction. If we have a look on a 15 minute here, we can see the whales dumping here at 36,800, pushing it through this support level of the descending triangle. And then at the moment right now, we see Bitcoin starting to roll over. So rolling over like this might indicate that uh, we're looking to continue the downtrend in the short term anyway. We go back to the alley and what can we see here? On the VMC we can see we've got an RSI of about 18, stochastic of 10 and a money to flow indicator, the yellow one here at 6.4. So on the alley, looking like some support coming back in. But when we look at the chart, we see the candles, fairly weak candles on low volumes, and they look like they're starting to roll over. So this dump might continue. Jump over to four alley, and here we go. Bang, we see this big dump from 39.5 down to 35.5. So like we said, 9.3% dump. And Bitcoin coming back. As what usually happens after a big dump is there's a quick comeback, but then this could continue down because this comeback isn't very strong. Need to keep a close eye on it. And if Bitcoin does come back, there's a lot of resistance to get back through. And if we look at the DXY, let's have a quick look at the US dollar chart. We see the US dollar started to come down yesterday. So Bitcoin started to go up. And then overnight, US dollar up she goes again. So if it starts to drop again, we'll see the Bitcoin price start to raise. So we keep a close eye on the US dollar currency index. Having a quick look here on the side panel, everybody's in red, they're all red. And like I said on the 15 minute here, Bitcoin coming back from the dump, but now starting to roll over. So we might see a continuation of the dump. So let's go to the crypto bubbles and we see the biggest losers, GMT and Phantom. And the only winner here, ANC Anchor Protocol. So people moving money to safety to get some interest in Anchor Protocol. Fear and Greed's 27 Fear. Well, it's probably a bit more than that now. And the heat map. You can't get a more red heat map than that. So back to the 15 minutes and we can see the rollover just starting to happen. So in the next short period of time, we'll be expecting a further drop in the Bitcoin price. And back on the alley, we start to see the same thing happening here. And if Bitcoin does continue to drop, we have our bottom zone here, the logarithmic bottom at 32,000 to roughly about 29,500. So if Bitcoin comes to this area, this is where we would potentially expect it to be the bottom. And this is the chart here that I was talking about, the logarithmic bottom. And as we can see, Bitcoin bouncing off this yellow bottom trend line. Now we could have a potential breakdown through that line as we did here in 2020. So if we have a closer look here, we can see Bitcoin coming closer to the bottom of this logarithmic channel. As I said, still about 10% away. So that would get us into the $29,000 to $30,000 range. All right, well, we'll leave it there. So if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and every time we put out a new video, you'll be notified. All right, it's bye from me and we'll talk again soon.